Hey guys, today we are talking about how to something. I don't know what we were going to talk about, I forgot. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Turtle Girl, and today we are talking about one of my favorite subjects ever, food. Now unfortunately it's not about food for me to eat, it's food for turtles. So specifically, how to feed your turtle in a separate container. So you might be wondering, why would you even do that, and what are the benefits of this? Well, first of all, this helps keep a lot of the mess from feeding out of your aquarium, because if you think about it, when your turtle eats, it's very messy, sometimes it doesn't finish all its food, or when it takes a bite of that pellet, it bites it in half, and then half of that pellet falls to the bottom, and all that food is just rotting away at the bottom of the aquarium, and that can get your water dirty pretty quickly, so feeding in a separate container allows you to keep that mess outside of the tank, and so your maintenance is easier, you can do smaller water changes, etc. And also it allows you to avoid aggression during feeding time, because when turtles are competing for food, that's usually when fights break out, so you can avoid that if you feed your turtle in a separate container. Now, as with everything, there are some drawbacks to using this feeding method. First of all, being that you have to actually try to catch your turtle and put him in a separate container. This can be quite a process for some turtles, because I really don't want to get caught. However, once your turtle learns being taken out of the aquarium means food, usually they'll be right up there at the aquarium glass begging for you to take them out. Also, it does kind of stress them out when you're moving them around, at least in the beginning, because they don't associate being touched with food. But even though there are those drawbacks, I still think the benefits outweigh it, especially the maintenance part, because they really can be messy when eating. And so that's why I feed in a separate container and why a lot of other turtle owners do this as well. So now, on to how you actually do this. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is your container or fish tank or whatever you are using to put the turtle in while he is eating. And just make sure it is a size that can accommodate your turtle and give him a little bit of room to swim around. It doesn't have to be huge. So this is a six quart shoe bin that I use for my four inch turtles. They're both four inches And so that's what I use You could also use a large plastic sweater tub for something as large as a red-eared slider Or even a whole separate dedicated fish tank like a 10 gallon tank just to feed your turtle And so you'll take that and you will fill it up maybe halfway to three quarters Because you, turtles do need water to swallow their food And so you just want to give them enough water to at least cover their shell. That's, a, that's how I gauge it so that they can move around freely. You can dechlorinate the water that you are putting into this container, but personally I found that you don't really have to because turtles aren't as sensitive as fish to chlorine and other chemicals in the water because they don't actually breathe the water. So if you would be willing to drink the water out of the tap, it would probably be fine to just fill up your container with straight tap water. And then what you're going to do is catch your turtle out of the aquarium, remember to be very gentle, and you're going to transfer them to this separate container. And just give them a minute to kind of calm down and figure out where they are. Um, once your turtle is used to this process, you don't really have to do that. But when you're first starting to introduce them to eating in a separate container, you want to take it slowly so that they understand kind of what's happening, if turtles can understand. I just kind of like to let them calm down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your food and you're going to drop in three or four pellets at a time and wait until he eats them. Now the reason I say that is because if you feed your turtle too much at once, especially when they're not used to the idea of eating in this whole new environment, then you end up wasting a lot of food because they just refuse to eat. So put in three or four pellets and wait for him to eat it. Now if he eats it right away, great, continue to offer him pellets until he has had however much you're supposed to be feeding him, and then you can transfer him back to the tank. Now if your turtle doesn't eat the pellets, just give him a couple minutes, and if he still refuses, then just put him back in the tank and try again tomorrow. Now I promise you, turtles are extremely resilient creatures, they can go a couple weeks without food, so they'll be fine. Sometimes you just have to tough love them and be patient, and if you consistently continue to offer them pellets only in a separate container, eventually they'll start eating. Also, I do have more tips on how to get your turtle to start eating. If you click this I button right up here, I just did a video all about that. It just takes time, but... It's really not difficult, and once your turtle is consistently eating in a separate container, then you can almost just dump all his food in there all at once, leave him alone for five to eight minutes, 
come back when he's finished just plop him back in the tank and it's as easy as that and then you can just dump the wastewater maybe near plants because there's some nutrients in there or just dispose of it in a proper way and that's all there is to it so that is how you feed your turtle in a separate container i hope this video helped you if it did please drop a thumbs up also, comment below how you feed your turtles. That would be really helpful for everyone else to see how everyone else does it. And get a conversation started in the comments below. And I will see you guys next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye!